Good evening, my name is Andre, and tonight you've reached the Binge Otaku. In this Halloween season, I think that we need to forego the usual and go with something a little bit more befitting of the environment right now. So tonight, we will be talking about Overlord, Fushisha no Pao, or The Undead King. This movie is a redux of episodes 1 through 6 of the Overlord TV series released back in 2015. I understand the logic behind this. Overlord just got a season 2 confirmation, and so to avoid what happened to Attack on Titan, they're releasing these as a bit of a refresher of what happened and a reminder of just how goddamn awesome Overlord was. There are a couple of changes, most notably the fact that you get to see Momonga's actual live body plugging into the MMO and waiting for the server shutdown. At that point, you kind of get the picture that it's not just, you know, just a face. It could be, that could be anything, like an NPC that doesn't realize it's an NPC. At this point, you actually do realize that it's going along the lines of dive MMOs and people that get stuck in them. Now, I still have my own personal theory that he did, in fact, leave when the servers uh, got shut down and that this is just a copy of his consciousness in the system. But that is neither here nor there. That's just my personal. That's just me. I will say that Studio Madhouse has done an excellent job uh, redoing the effects for the movies. They've cut. They've also cut out a lot of the small fluff that kind of padded out the original episodes, making the actual main story beats come faster and harder. Most notably, the appearance of uh, Clementine was very interesting. Her dialogue remained mostly the same, but I don't know, with a faster pace, she seems a bit more, I don't know, like almost a side character? She doesn't seem, she doesn't feel nearly as important. It's almost like this is just things that are happening. The focus seems to be way more on Momonga and, or Ainz Ulgon and his faction kind of building their strength rather than, you know, that was just a small subplot to everybody else, everybody else's lives and activities. And this is accentuated mostly in the fact that in the Clementine arc, or the sub-arc, and at the middle point of season one, it shows her stealing the circlet of wisdom from the shaman priestess and what it does to her. But in this case, they just kind of cut it completely out and it just kind of shows her with it rather than explaining how she got it. So in a lot of senses, you could, you could almost view this almost like a DBZ Kai of season one. But all in all, I really do believe that if you haven't seen Overlord season one yet, or if you just want to get a refresher on some of the more interesting plot points, Overlord, the Undead King, and Overlord, the Demon Swordsman, are both movies you should watch. My name is Andre, this has been The Binge Otaku, and I will see you next time.